I mean, we talked about radioisotope dating and the fact that we can't depend on the, the radioisotope dating. Mm -hmm. Let me just show you something here. We're, we're here right at these rocks and uh, this is the lava flow. Remember we said one of the problems with the dating methods is that they're going to get daughter atoms trapped in there that weren't from radioactive decay or you can get things to leak out. If you have a closer look at this, you can see the gas bubbles mm -hmm. in the basalt yeah. when it cooled and those ba gas bubbles pop. These are, this is leaving this, this rough surface in the, in the basalt. So this was filled with that It was filled with material. gas, including argon, which wasn't from radioactive decay. Remember that this basalt comes from deep inside the earth. Mm -hmm. one, one aspect I didn't mention earlier is that basalt is of a different composition to many of the, the rocks on the earth, on the land surface. The continents have a different composition to the ocean floor. The ocean floor is made up of basalt and the continental rocks are different from basalt. They're more like a composition of a granite. So it means that this basalt will have come from deep in the earth, down in the top of the earth's mantle, it comes up through fractures and, and comes out through the volcanoes. And it brings up the gases with it. But the very fact that we can see these uh, gas bubbles indicates again, the problems with the radioactive dating methods. A rock like this uh, has been dated with potassium argon. We know that this is a recent lava flow and yet it will give you ages of tens of thousands of years because of the presence of the, of the extra argon on these rocks. Mm -hmm. And that is common. This is not just a feature here. Uh, we find that in lava flows around the world, recent islands, volcanic islands in the ocean basins, uh, the basalts give ages of hundreds of millions of years mm -hmm. for potassium argon. Uh, uranium led ages of one to two billion years for rocks that we know the historical ages. We've actually observed them occur. So this is the problem we see illustrated here in front of us with a rock like this with these radioactive dating methods.